What's going on, guys? And for the win here, we are back with our franchise mode as the Stanley Cup champion. Montreal Canadiens. That's that's right. We are the champs. We just had a terrific draft. We're now into free agency. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, that's good. My throat's doing some weird stuff now. It's a perfect time for it. Starting to record a video. My throat's like, ow. All right. Anyway, so... Here in the, uh, about to go in the free agency, um, we do not have any winners. I, I looked through all the comments, and Sam Reinhart having your heat in, and then the goalies being all trash. Yeah, no, no winners, unfortunately. A lot of you got one correct, but close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. So, you know, better luck to you all this coming year. So, here in the free agency, I don't, again, don't really, probably don't really need anything. We re-sign uh, Crosby. How much money do we even have? Uh, 9.5 million. Did we need anything? Hold on. <laughs> I, got, I got to remind myself if we uh, need anything. I'm probably not on the forward end. I think we're pretty stacked on the forward end, so let me just check the fence first. Maybe we needed like a top six or something. For some reason I'm thinking we did, but I could be wrong on that. Clark, Niemann, Lambos. Oh, yeah, we were thinking about the possible top four. Yeah. Mm. So Mette Juleson definitely. I think what we could also do is play the waiting game. Then we'd all, oh yeah, we'd also need a depth guy. I don't think Paulson is I mean he might be ready for top six. And then we could use or we could yeah. If he was, then Juleson would obviously sit for it for uh, for the time being. But we still need the top four. Either either we get a top four in some way, probably trading Hakala. If we do that, we're waiting till after we see the jumps. And yeah, okay, that's what we were doing. And goalie wise, yeah, we needed a. Uh, oh yeah, that's right, we needed an AHL backup. Okay, so. I think there was a couple options for top four, or was there not? I'm trying, trying to refresh my own memory here. Um, no, kind of. Yeah, not, not really. Not really anything like that jumps out. Yeah, no. Okay, so we definitely need something. From a trade by the looks of it. Yeah, because none of these really jump out. None of them are strong righties. Besides Latang, I think he's too far up there. I mean, he's looking like he could still be mid-80s, but that age, you know, he's he's gonna he's gonna fall flat. Like he's gonna decline pretty hard. Now he does want a year, which is exactly kind of what we want to give him. We could reunite him and you know, reunite him and Crosby. I mean, he's still got 51 points last year. So like he's obviously still serviceable. Oh man, he would almost kind of fit. Hmm. <laughs> Big old hmm. Uh, that does suck up most of our cash, though. Not that we really need to spend on anything else, but first of all, I know who we're gonna get. Um, I remember who the f was it? Fukale? Was I gonna get Fukale? I think I was. Yeah, I think I was gonna get him as my backup. Yeah, I think so. Just ringing a bell. Let's get him as my AHL backup. Nice little 74. Let me double check on our forward situation and, and again consider about maybe getting Latang. The thing about Latang is we don't really have a coaching staff that'll prevent decline. So we know Crosby's gonna decline more. Latang might decline more. So in that top four, he will be declining. Really didn't seem to matter last year too much, but you know. All right. Uh, forward wise, ten. Forsbacher Carlson, center wise, and then. Oh no 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 Crosby center Forsbacher sorry sorry, but that oh man I lost count now because I did that. <laughs> 
six, nine. There's your top nine, essentially, but no, there's your top nine. Crosby on the fourth line with uh, Kalinin and Elinen. And then Forsbach, Carlson, Depth. So, yeah, we, really, we don't need any forwards. We got the defense unlocked in. We still need a depth defenseman. Yeah, the thing, the thing about this is we almost need to trade Hakala either way. If we sign someone, well, if we sign someone, we could play him AHL again, but eh, on his last year, you'd rather kind of trade him at that point. Yeah, we have enough AHL defensemen. We don't really need to play him there. Paulson might even still be in the HL. We have to see where he's going to jump. Like, it's, yeah. I mean, he should. He should get up to NHL ready. But, I mean, he might not as well with the way he's kind of been struggling to grow. So, I think we're going to maybe wait and look for a trade option. And maybe hope that Hakala can... Yeah, let's let's try to see if we can grow that internally. Instead of getting Latang here in free agency, who's who's a roll of the dice anyway. And if we get him, we can't move him on that contract. I don't I don't really like that. So let's just... Um, I won't I won't really need a depth piece because we that we're gonna trade for someone. But if we don't end up being able to trade, yeah, we we are actually I am gonna need a depth piece initially for defense. So yeah. Because I only I only won't need a depth piece if Paulson jumps up, right? So, <laughs> Carrick, we can get Carrick again. He was solid. I I have no problem getting Carrick, man. I really don't. He was actually really good for us, and he doesn't doesn't want much money at all. So let's just go ahead and grab Carrick again after we release them. So there we go. We're gonna have still about ten mil to work with. Let's advance a couple days. We'll have some uh, coaches. Hopefully accepting. Yep. Stanton. Ah. Angle went with another team. Rip Angle. Shoot. So we still now need a HL associate coach. Someone around to be. All right. Let's just focus on teaching here. Generalist B. I like that. Yeah. Really all we want is the teaching for my HL. Oh, it's Giordano! Yeah, let's grab Giordano. AHL associate. Oh, man, we have to pay him a lot. All right, Gio. <laughs> you want to you wanna coach my AHL, man? He's 43 now. Oof, he's never had a, 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 a NHL head coaching job yet. Poor guy. Let's give him some work here in the AHL. Let's do that. And I do have a scout. I was able to finally, finally, we upgraded. It's Jesus. And we and we finally upgraded our USA Central. He's now an A minus. Yay. <laughs> and it's not, it was an AHL scout too. We got Carrick. Uh, we got Fukale. And now we're just waiting on Giordano as the coach. There we go. All right. So Giordano now our AHL associate coach. Um... Culp accepted his extension, which I believe was a pretty good one. Uh, no. Get out. I know they're trying to give us a defenseman, but no, no, no. Choosing my own trade on that. And that, and you, oh yeah, and I should. And I will be likely scouting pretty hardcore on defensemen. I wonder if you could just say right-handed defenseman. I don't know if that's a thing you could do. Oh, I guess I'll find out in a little bit. So that's it. I think that's everything. I believe so. Yeah. Um, any more extensions? I think I pretty much did all I wanted to do. What are we looking at next year in the way of cash? We'll have 13 mil to our name, cash-wise. Who's coming off contract? Well, Crosby. Not a whole lot. Wow. I mean, uh, that's only projection, but still, wow. 
We put ourselves in a really good position cap-wise, but that won't last, right? Muratsov probably going to want some kind of a pay increase. Um, Culp is already signed. Wow. No, we're in great shape. The goalie's going to want a pretty hefty one, but that's not for another couple years. Juleson, he's signed a couple more years. All of our defensemen are lined up. Yeah, I know. We're in great shape. Now, it's not showing Hakala up here or anything. He wants an extension. What's he asking for? What's it looking like? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, well, that's everything we need to do right now. We'll get to, we'll cross that next bridge when we come to it. So I'm going to sim up here, starting in the lines, taking care of, and all that good stuff. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, the lines have been sorted. The scouts have been sent out. Here's what we're going with. Coke, Kanami, Barkov, Marasa, very similar. Ulet, Domi, Squires on this second line. Look at that, plus five. Yikes. Um, Culp, Lundell, Lambert, third line. Kalinin, Crosby, Elinen on the fourth. Uh, defensively, Neiman and Clark, Lambos, Hakala, Mete, Julson. So that's what we're looking at right now. Uh, special teams-wise... Kokinemi, Barkov, Domi with Clark Maratsov on the uh, the power play. I'm get, we're going with snipers on the point. I can move them around, but I'm going to try it out, I guess. Let's see how this works out. Uh, Lambert, Crosby, Culp, Ouellette, and Squires on the second unit. Squires might, you know, have some issues here and there with ice, ice time, but we can solve those. He is 21 still. Uh, there's the four-man. Pretty standard. Don't really mess with that too much because, I mean, yeah. There's not really too many four-man penalties out there. Penalty kill. Barkov, Kalina, Neiman, and Juleson. Plus three on that. Then Lundell, Ouellette, Clark, Lambos for uh, no bonus. But, yeah, we'll see. Three-man. Lundell on the top one. Barkov, second one. On to the four-on-four four lines. Pass or shooter type format. Barkov, Muratsov. Uh, Domi, Squires, all the defensive pairings are the same as 5-on-5, five five, and then uh, Colt Cammy, Lambert. And 3-on-3, three three, same sort of pairings there, and going with uh, Clark, Hakala, and then Niemannen. And I've got Hakala in, like, where we would likely replace him with a, you know, top five guy, whoever that we get. All right, extra attacker, Barkov, Domi, one and two Cs. You know what? Instead of Domi, I'm actually going to go with Squires. Yeah, and then here's the shootout lineup. Goaltenders now given Orchio the full-time starting role. He's a, yeah, he's a Stanley Cup winning goaltender now. So let's see how he does in the uh, full-time starting role. Heward as his backup. Carrick and Forrest Baca Carlson as depth. And there we are, your 2026-27 Montreal Canadiens. So let's see how we're going to do this year. Hopefully pretty good. And, uh, yeah, that's it, right? Yeah, and I've already got the uh, the pro scouts. Two-month assignments to scout out defensemen from all of the divisions. So we'll be able to check on that in a bit and really be able to see what we can trade for, hopefully. <laughs> that's the hope, at least, and hopefully there's something there. We only really need someone for a year, so it's got to be almost a rental, which is going to make it a bit tougher. But, you know, we managed with the OC last year. Maybe we can get lucky again. And also, this will also, you know, we also might not need it because we got guys being, you know, scouted and such. Anyway, we'll find that out in a bit. Let's get everyone fully scouted here and get this season underway. I don't know why I feel like I'm forgetting something. I might be, actually. Goalie rotations. Goalie rotations. All right, let me check that real quick. Because it might be off. I don't want Orcho to just get every single freaking game. That's that's for sure. Yeah, let's stop real quick. Because I think that actually might be off. Let me double check. Because I know we t obviously had to turn it off for the playoffs for Orcho. So, stands to reason that it would still be off. And it is. I knew it. I had a feeling. I had a feeling I was forgetting something. All right. So there that is. 
Now we're ready to go. <laughs> 100%. Let's kick it. There we are. Get everyone fully scouted. Let's see how we're going to do throughout preseason. That's a pretty good game. All right, those are two pretty good games. <laughs> good goals, good goals against. That's kind of what you like to see. Yeah, that's if preseason's a precursor, we're looking pretty solid. 5 0 2 there. Yep, I already got my scouts assigned. Let's see how we're going to start off this regular season. Well, not too good goals against in those two games, but we got the goals for, so that's... Uh-oh. Goals against is a bit of a struggle here early on. Let's see if we can turn that around, tighten things up defensively. Two great defensive games after that with good goal scoring. Can we continue that trend? Florida, 1-4. and four. All right, let's check out the draft class right quick. Sundin. Scout him just because I can. <laughs> Not because I need to. Just because it's actually letting me. They'll probably just get auto-scouted anyway. Another Morozov! Morozov, whatever. Valerie. Related? Probably not. Ah, oh, that's a few years apart. <gasps> Matthew Domi! Younger brother of Max? He's a goalie. That, it sounds like a name that could be... Sounds like something Ty would do. Alright. Name them both M names, lol. Alright, this guy three tick to low, but he probably won't be scouted because I doubt he's playing in the QMJHL at that age. I don't know, he might be. Might be pretty decent overall. Anyway, let's focus on the lows mostly. Because that is what we're going to like. Alright, not a whole lot there. Not a whole lot in general. Okay, there you go. <laughs> a bunch of uh, guaranteed top fours we got. It's pretty neat. But I guess we'll let the auto scout take care of a lot of this. Yeah, apparently. Apparently I'm not needed here. Gamachi. Wasn't this guy in the draft last? No. 18, huh. Ah, uh, well, he could turn 19 at some point. I felt like he is. Oh, well. There we go. Three and one. Three games straight where we only allowed one goal. Lay a bit of an egg there in Toronto, but that's okay. Isaac's got a strained hamstring, so someone's got to jump in there. We have plenty of depth to do so. Just not there. McCarran Evans, Becca, yeah. Half of those guys, I can't even... Oh, goodness gracious. Had to be a guy on the friggin' point everywhere, didn't it? Of course, why wouldn't it? There we go. Oh, ooh, what else? Oh, three on three, yep. Because the game doesn't register. Even though you say put them everywhere, the game's like, are you sure? We put this we put this forward in a defensive slot, but are you sure you want to keep them there? Yes, I am. <laughs> uh, ice time concerns for Bear. 50-50 chance, let's see. Yeah, probably not, man, I agree. Oh, wow, he's, he's a team guy. I love you, Bear. You're a good, you're a good egg. Mr. 86 on the third line. Oh, Lambert as well. Yep. Persuade. Oh, you guys are, you guys are great. Yeah, you know, we, we just want a cup. We got to keep the, keep the system. Cam Squires, yeah, I figured Cam Squires might, but he'll be easy enough, even if I have to move him up. Uh, it's another shooter on that top line. Yeah, okay. Promise him. I don't wanna don't wanna mess with Cam Squire's morale here. Let's stop the sim, put him on the first line for a sec. Oh, he's only 87. Really? Lundell as well. Really? Alright, everyone's now's the time where we get everyone complaining about ice time because oh look at Lundell. What a guy. What do you guys? So yeah, it's obvious that he jumped back up. Yep, he's 85. So he didn't he that wasn't any permanent decline we saw. That's a tough loss. But six and four. Wow, we've lost a few. Yeah. Offense has declined. Defense is still doing okay, but yeah, we just haven't been scoring enough in the in the recent. So it's only Squires I need to move up. I'm pretty sure. Oh, he's only got ten points. Squires has only got four goals. Really? Wow, I thought that line would kill it, but apparently not. So right, let's make a brief change right here. Get Squires up there so he stops complaining. Yeah, that's actually very interesting. 
We could try... Well, Kokinami's doing crazy good on that line. Oh, well. That's pretty rough. Not exactly the stretch we wanted to see here. Um, I don't wait for everyone to get fully scouted, but let me go up a few so Cam Squires will tell me I've kept my promise. And may, hey, maybe these line com combos will work any better. Well, he already told me I kept my promise. You're welcome. <laughs> that was quick. Cam Squires is like, fuck yeah. Yeah, I figured he might complain at some point. There we go. Nice win. Well, we got six goals, four in that game. Mizek's back. So let me put him back in there. Let's see. Can we win these next couple games here? Well, not with Neiman, and it's only a mild concussion. That sucks, though. He ain't out for too long, but that's a pretty rough one. Move up Lambos like that, but then sub in all lines with Carrick. Yeah. Couple big wins, and we needed that offense, too. Hmm, maybe I'll leave Cam Squires up here for a while. We seem... In that little stretch, we did pretty good. Six goals, four, eight goals, four, three goals, four in reg. It's quite a lot of scoring after a stretch where, you know, we didn't score a whole lot. So it's not too bad. Nine and four, though, now. Oh, Muratsov exploded! Wow, him on the second line, he absolutely exploded. Holy hell. I should change some positions here as well to make uh, give her some... I bet you we can get a plus one on that first line with Cam Squires being an actual right winger. I think I'm actually going to use him as a right winger. Oh, God, look at that contract. I think I am actually going to use him as a right winger too. Not have him on the oppo side. It seems to kind of work. You know, having him where he is. There we go. Right winger, Cam Squires. Let's try that out. Anyone else? Who else am I using? I know I'm, I could probably change Coat Konami at this point to a uh, winger. We've been mostly using Dome. I could always change him back. Yeah, why not? Why not? Been using him pretty much primarily as a winger. So we'll see if we can get a tiny bit more chemistry with these uh, changes here. All right, anyone else? I don't think so. Yeah, I think we're good. All right. Oh wait, what didn't didn't Culp have something? I think he's a right winger. Uh, yes, he is. Do I want them on their oppo sides? I could change him to a left winger and then move Culp back that way. But we seem to really be doing okay. Ooh. Fourth line kind of struggling here. Early on. Alright, that didn't do much. Yeah, he doesn't like the first line of bunch. Neither does Squires. Squires really likes that second line. Which is part of the reason I wanted these combos. Obviously you can't get more than plus five. I'm not going to have Ouled up there. Oof, he needs to get going. Yeah, I'll just leave the rest. Whatever. Marazza really exploded in the recent times. Who let those only got six points. I'm not a huge fan of that. He's still on a good contract, and he's kind of like that third guy on the line. And yeah, we know Hekela is only 80 overall, so he's not going to get to where we need him to be. He's got four points. He's not even really producing there either. So, towards the end of this scouting, we gotta got to make some changes here for sure. Anyway. Let's continue with the sim here. Muratsov just had a crazy explosion there. Let's see if we can continue to get some uh, good production here. Well, there's a win. Good goaltending. That's Tehran being injured. Okay. Paulson's only a 77. Yeah, he's listed as depth, but I'm not, I'm not bringing him up. So we have our answer with that. So good thing we got the depth guy because Paulson's not ready for that top six and we can't use Juleson as depth. 
He might grow more throughout the year, and we can maybe, maybe call him up, but it's not there right now. And I think we'll use Dowdy as part of this trade value. Oh. I don't like that, though. It's better. Tuomo Niemann's back. There we go. That's a big one. Need him back, but Carrick should have done pretty decently. Yeah, three go three games and assist was a plus. Can't complain. Neiman in goes back in. And let's continue here. Nice win. Alright, we definitely, after that spike, slow well, then we had an eight to five game. And four to two loss. Might want to switch the lines back eventually. But as of right now, we definitely seem to be doing pretty well with them. So, I'm kind of... I don't know if this guy's going anywhere. 25, 74. That is unfortunate. High top six. And I was really hoping if he could come like a depth or something. But he never did. Tough loss right there. Answer back with a nice win in the shootout. And then the shutout. Hmm. Uh... A little bit inconsistent with the scoring now. One point out of first place in the division. I want to give this these lines a bit longer. Okay, Domi now has ice time concerns. Hopefully he doesn't want more. I could switch him real quick with like Code Konami or something. All right, well, Domi's a team guy. He's the captain. He knows how to lead. And he's doing just that. Uh, okay. All right, what, what is it? Convincing. Okay, please don't say you can't snap. Oh, there you go. Brad Lambert. Give him that plus to morale. Yeah, fix your fix it, man. You got this. Uh-oh. Now Cam Squires is okay, so he's not doing too well in that first line. Let's see. Shit. I, sh I should have I should have asked him what I could do cuz he he'd probably say I want better chemistry and I could have fixed that. Fuck. Yeah, that was my bad. Oh well. Well, so that isn't doing now Lundell. He should be okay. There we go. Okay. Got that. Yeah, I should have done the other way with uh, Squires there, because I could have literally given... I can't give him more ice time, so I don't know what it would have me do if he said that, but I could definitely give him more... Uh... Alright, so Cam Squires definitely slacked off. Muratsov was doing pretty damn good. Oh, Muratsov is leading the way in points, so it makes sense you want to give him more ice time now. Although he seems to be killing it with this line, still want to give him more ice time. Yeah, Squires only got 15 freaking points, what the heck. So send him back here. Try to get him some more uh, points with these guys. 17 points now for Ouellette. He's kind of like the third guy on that line, essentially. You have a passer shooter here, and he's kind of like the other guy. Which is okay, you need one of those. A big old bruising power for you. So he may not get a ton, a ton of points, but he's still doing okay. And the first line, we're getting a good production out of everyone right now. Fourth line plus minuses are improving. That is good. Third line, however, all minuses, not getting a whole lot done. Hopefully they can figure that problem out internally. How do you like the third line? Pretty well. Lundell likes it. Lambert, not as much. I don't know if switching will give us any more plus. He likes it a fair amount. If I maybe switch him to the left winger, I could get a bit more. I might do that. But both of them are kind of scoring goals, so I might want to have them like this. I might move Lambert to a left winger and have them both on their one times. That could be a good idea as well. So let's try that out, and I'll check the stats after I do that. So Lambert, switch him to a left winger as a right shot. Let's try that out. Try to get just a tiny bit more chemistry here and there. And they all got power play time and such, so. Let's try it. Left wing for you. Save that. Theoretically, they should maybe get a bit more if with, with this change. Let's check it. Maybe. No guarantee, but I mean, the player types match up to a forward playmaker, sniper, and now if they're all in their correct positions, plus three? No. All right. Wow. How do, can you get more than plus five? Because look how... Look at that, man. They're almost up at the top with that. It's actually insane. Is anyone capped out on that second line just so I could check? 
No. Only Oulette. No, he's not. Squires, let's capped out on it, huh? Yeah. I can't really check. Oh, well, but plus five. I mean, that's insane. That is absolutely insane, the chemistry on that line. Anyway, stat time. I'm marveling too much. Let's go to the stats. Morozov having himself a year so far. We're 18-7-1 here, top of the division. 3.54 goals, 4 goals against 2.88. Tampa has a better ratio than we do. But we have more points. Okay. But still, a I, I would like to score a bit more. Maybe keep the puck in the net a bit more, too. I'd like to see a full one-goal differential in our ratio. See if we can get there. 35.2% of the power play. They're not even giving us many penalties. We're just capitalizing. 21.6 on the PK. Not too bad, but it could be much better. Three shorties, though. 11, 2, and 1 on home ice. 7, and 5 on the road. Could improve our road play. But overall, pretty good start to the year. Let's see the production. Morozov, 31 points. Barkov, point per game with 26. Domi, also point per game with 26 on that second line. 24 for Code Kinami. Drops off pretty quick after that. Oh, yeah. Culp, 18. Ouellette, 17. Crosby, 16. Squires, only 15. So, yeah, we need to try to get a bit more secondary scoring. Culp is, is really killing it. Now, that is six of those on the PK, but that's still 12. He has the same amount of points as Squires does, five on five. So, we are getting some really good... Uh, depth scoring from the third line right now. How's... Oh, that's Lambert. Yeah, yeah. Not Lundell. Where is Lundell? There's Lundell. He's got no power play time. Lambert's getting most of his production from the power play. Yeah, third line needs to kind of get going a bit. But, I mean, what, what do you want him to do, really? Oof. 20 penalty minutes for Lundell. What are you doing? Are you fighting? No! Ugh! You, what? 89 discipline. Come on now. Figure it out. Taking some penalties here, Lundell. I don't like to see that. Defensively, Clark is almost point per game with 25 points. Wow. I'm willing to bet he's playing a lot with that second line. Because it doesn't make sense for Ouellette to be missing all those points in, in some ways. Who knows? Oh yeah, after that, plus minuses. No one's going crazy. Yeah, no one's quite going crazy here. Orchio... I was thinking his stats would actually be better than this. Yeah, I was really thinking his stats would be better than this. But Eward's doing great in the backup. Yeah, he's really killing it. And Bednar Fukali really. Yeah, it looks like Bednar didn't pan out to be a backup or anything. I mean, he is listed as a backup, but he's... Eward's killing it. He didn't do great last year, but now he's going to get a full year, and all, he's doing great so far. Really good so far. And Orchio is an 86, actually. So, does that mean he's going to start sucking in the sim? <laughs> Hope not. All right, let's, uh, let's look around at those uh, possible trades. Or at least what we have scouted in the way of uh, defensemen for the top four. And that'll help our goals against, I think, a lot. Is if we can secure someone there. So let's see what the scouts have found. There we go. That's looking good. Really good info. Really, really good info. Yeah, I'm liking that. Okay, Ekman Larson. Now he's a lefty. But could work, man. We did it with uh, Yossi last year. Maybe it'll work with OEL this year again. It's a possibility. They don't want to give him up, which makes sense. But you're not, you guys aren't doing too hot, and he's declining. We can give you a young defenseman back for him. Boston. Nothing there, but got good info. Whoa. Oops. Wait, wait, wait. Buffalo. There we go. Yeah, just didn't update. Uh, obviously, Risto, who's extended, so that's not really a big option. Don't know too much about this guy. I think it's got to be someone like... Balamaki, are you a righty? No. But, again, we can do the same option. He's not doing too hot either. Dougie Fresh, three years left. Sanheim, one year. Lefty, but, I mean, he's on the block, and that's an option. 
all defensive pairings, all penalty killings. That's pretty good. He fits into this scheme really well. He's a plus 12. He's got 10 points. Where is he playing for him? First pairing. We're going to use him on the second. I mean, there's Sanheim. That's a pretty damn good option. I'm really liking that. I might actually pull the trigger on that here. I don't want to wait too much longer. Yuki Haru, I think too low. Don't have enough info on him. Murray, two years. No, too much value. Lacking some information here in the Pacific. Oh, a little bit more everywhere. What the heck? I signed I assigned everyone, so he shouldn't be. God damn it. There we go. That's better. Oh, some of those might have been AHL because they just had value. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. But the NHL ones don't. All right, nothing really there. I'm really liking the idea of Sandheim right here, even though he's not a righty. I can be a bit lax about righty-lefty. Adam Fox is a righty. But... I don't know. I don't like the contract. It's And we don't have full scouting information on him. Nope. Merkley. They don't want to give him up. Makes sense. It's quite a bit of value. Oof. Oof, 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 oof. My goodness. He's killing it for him. Probably they're good to yeah, they're not gonna want to give up Merkley. They're not gonna give up Merkley, man. Why would they? Carlson. Uh, Carlson's oh, he's extended. God damn it. I was like, hey, Carl, we could afford that. We could literally afford that, but of course he's extended. So yeah, they don't want to give him up. Makes sense. Blues. Justin Falk, not good enough. 83, I, I need I need something higher. All right, towards the end here, I think Sandheim really is the best option. Uh-oh, the other Clark is kind of becoming good. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, if only Johansson was on a one-year. He would be a d decent option as well. Obviously, John Carlson, but he's likely going to decline further at age 36. So I think Sanheim is the guy we want to go for. Where the hell was he? Carolina? Yeah, Carolina. Sanheim, 84. Not going to decline. One year left. No extension. This is the guy to go for, in my opinion. So let's throw. Let's put that in there. They don't want Hekala, unfortunately, but I'm going to throw him in there anyway. That's league approved, and I'll try to throw in Ernest Dowdy as well. They do want Dowdy, and I could throw him in there. Because he's, yeah, he's not really working for us. And they do want him. Okay, they'd have too many skaters. We have to take back a junk player. No big deal. So, who's that going to be? Oh, no one they want to give up, unfortunately. Or whatever, just take this dude back. Take a defenseman from their system. All right, that's league approved. Will they? Will they want it? Will they say yes to this? They will. Pretty sweet. All right. So we made that go through. They said not too much to deliver. I might have could I could have got probably got something else back, but why do that? I think we still won that trade, even if it's just a rental. All right. So there we go, and throw in Sandheim immediately. Subbing all lines. There we go. We actually get a plus one on there, too. Ooh, ooh, he really likes that. But unfortunately, Lambos isn't too sweet on it. If I did that, no, it doesn't improve anything. Might be because righty-lefty. I'm not too sure. He's balanced in it both. I mean, I almost feel like you could get something higher, but oh, well. Yeah, he really likes that second pairing. All right, anyway. I think it's because two two-ways, probably, is part of the reason. Although, they, the game seems to like the two two-way format. Oh, who knows? Maybe righty-left. I don't know. Either way, <laughs> it's it's decent chemistry. We get a plus one. And now we still got Juleson Mete. Paulson. Yep, listed as minor top four here. 20. Okay, man, we need, we need a nice jump from him. We really need him to start... Start coming up, and we need him to get to that top four. But Sandheim's going to be a, a, a good rental right here. 
Definitely a good rental. All right. There we go. Trade has been made. That improves our team immensely. Defensively, we should be better. Maybe get a bit more production as well. But mostly defensively, we improved our team. So let's uh, let's just go um, towards the trade deadline. Let's. I guess we. Could, you know, I, I'll just I'll just probably check growth at the deadline. I think. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I really need to stop there for any reason. So let's just move up here and uh, see how we do. Again, should do better. Well, there's a shutout, so that's pretty good. Pretty good sign. Florida is a pretty bad team, though, so bear that in mind. All right, wow. What's up with the scouting here in that top five? All right, scout this dude. Guys within our draft range. It could pan out to be something more. All right. I'll get a bit of info on Sloan. That's like a late first, early second. Could be someone we want to snag. Same with this dude. Same with a few of these guys, to be honest. Why not? Yeah, I'll get all of them, actually. Because they're all, like, right here. And they all of these have potential to at least be top sixes, so. There we go. That should be fine for now. On to the lows we go. Sure, keep scouting this guy, even though we might not get... Ah, he is playing. So. There we go. There's your chance. There's your in. He's playing. Hunter Higgins. What a name. Stefan Ragnarsson. Is Stefan a name commonly used in Sweden? Maybe. It doesn't it doesn't like jump off as like a, a name used in Sweden. I could be completely wrong. Definitely seems like more of a French influence name. But hey. It is very possible for uh French influenced people to marry into Sweden, I'm sure. Europe is all they're all they're all there. All right, getting a few of those guys because, like I said, they're within our range. We don't have a whole lot of scouting info yet, and so I kind of want to maybe go a bit overboard to get some more here. Because, yeah. Not getting a whole lot of help here. That's so many low top fours. <laughs> High starter. Uh-oh. Jesus. Get us that high elite. All right, this guy. A couple guys here. Mm, okay, never mind. None of them are really anything. Ugh. Not a whole lot. Okay, you're being scouted. You're also being scouted. Was, okay, is everyone just being scouted? Do I not have to do anything? Jeez. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, well, we haven't lost since acquiring Sanheim, so, oh my god. And we are dominating player right now. Whoa, that's a few more shutouts there. Okay, tough injury there to Mete, but, you know, we got, we got, we got a cure for that. It is known as Carrick. And he's a solid depth guy. Throw him in there. Now they get a plus one on that, too, so. There you have it. Tough loss right there. In reg. Oh, come on. Really? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what the injury was to Mete, but I'm pretty sure he's not back. Yeah, he's out. Okay, who's playing defense for a brief time? I guess we can move Juleson up. Carrick over. Sub in force pocket Carlson, I guess. Oh, he did get Honka. How good is he? He's probably terrible. I'm going to throw him in because he's a defenseman, though. Sure. You never know. We at least can maintain some chemistry. Big win right there, 6-2. to two. Another win. Mete's fully healed. There we go. Hold on. But I subbed him in for uh, Carrick. So, yeah, I got to be careful here. 
did Carrick for him. Ooh, Sandheim's also well. He's not fully healed, so I want to wait. I don't want to risk further injury to him. So let's wait till he's fully healed. Two games played, even. So <laughs> he's not causing damage, is Antony Honka. Another win. Travis Sandheim now fully healed. All right. Good job, Honka. Blessing in disguise that you were put up here, apparently. All right, Sandheim goes in. Boom. There we are. Juleson did really good with Lambos. Oh, wow. There we go. Yeah, this, 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 <laughs> that, acquiring that defenseman. Wow. Yeah, this was a great move. We are doing fantastic since that move was made. I mean, we're killing it. Of course, there's going to be the occasional loss in there, but no, okay, it's only a minor, minor concussion, but still a concussion. Poor Paulson. Poor little Tank Tank. Sklenica, are you good for that top line? Why are you such a shit minus dude? Oh, unfortunately, we don't even have anyone else I could put in there, so there we go. Where's Sklenica? Oh, I did put him in there. Oh, where's... Oh, yeah, I traded Dowdy. That's right. I'm like, where's the other guy? I traded him. Where are they at, though? I'm just putting him in there because I don't care enough. Paulson's... He'll be back soon. Ugh. Oh, that's a real concussion for Lundell. Okay. That is a bit unfortunate. So... I will sub in all lines for Zbaka Carlson because he's a penalty killer. But I think I'll put Crosby up on that third line. Yep. Crosby up on that third line. Needs to help whip him in shape. Tough loss right there. That's definitely that definitely hurts. Put Crosby up on that third line. That's that's he's out for a while too. That's a real concussion. Oof. Tough loss. There we go, answered back with a win. All right, Paulson back. Hello. There we are. Nice win though. I mean, we're we're maintaining our 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 lead across the NHL. Even with uh dealing with these injuries. We have an 11 point lead on the division and we just can't we just continue to win. And defensively, we're doing pretty damn good, I would say. I, I, I really think we've improved a lot defensively. So let's check out what's going on here. Grigorenko. Worth, he's not even played. So he's going to be, what, like a 40 elite or something like that? Most likely. 40-something elite. That's what he's looking like, at least. All right, let's continue here. All right, and that's that's okay for now. Okay, those guys are already being scouted. The ones that I really wanted to take a look at. Okay, better be scouting the right things there, scouts. Which is, I really wish you could just have all your scouts only really searching for one thing. Like there should be like a general option. I know it's auto scout and whatnot, but it'd be cool if you could like kind of. Uh, Optimize the auto scout a bit. You know what I mean? I think that'd be neat. Like to have priority settings and stuff like that. Like priority potential. Next priority. Like what would be the next priority? Skills assessment. Char then character assessment. Then strengths and weak. Nah, still strengths. I don't know. Anyway, just a way to kind of... Hold on, I saw a gem. Oh, that guy's the gem? Okay. Low top six is the gem. Alright, couple guaranteed top fours. One in where we can grab. This one. Oh, okay, he's already being scouted. I was like, that one is within our range, but nope, already being scouted. Topi Toskla. Nice name. 
I love I love illiterate names, man. And what I mean by that is like alliteration, not illiterate. I don't even know if that was a word. Illiterate? I think it is. Illiterate. Illiterate name. I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> it seemed right in my head. I don't know. Is that a thing? Illiterate or just illiterate? I know illiterate means, you know, obviously you can't read. But alliteration, I'm figuring if if a name uses alliteration, is it an illiterate name? That's the big question. Where's my mom at, man? She taught English for 40 years. She'd have the answer. All right. There we go. So that's good. Another win. 38, 10, and 1 at the All-Star break. I'd say that's pretty good. <laughs> Speaking of which, I want the All-Star game in here and see how many of our guys would get voted in. That's too hard to program. We're never going to get that. Pipe dream. That was another Crosby being traded. 41, 11, and 1. And now we got Anton Lundell back. How'd you do? Ooh, Crosby. He liked it. He got some... Can't, ooh, man. He jumped up there. Lambert started doing better. Culp started doing better. Oh, man. I love you, Crosby. Of course, Baca Carlson was a plus player in there. Looking solid. Let's get Lundell back in. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the record. My goodness. Can we get the 50 wins? Pooley Harvey moved for a couple seconds in a prospect. Can we get the 50 wins before the deadline here? It's possible. But we pretty we have to... Uh, yeah, we literally have to win every game here, I think. Flyers have fired their... Oh, they fired Eberle. That's who we were going... That, that was one of our coaches at one point. I think that's... Was I going for him from... I know he's like an age. Oh, he's my age a lot coach, wasn't he, at one point? Yeah. Then we moved on. Anyway, another trade right there. A couple prospects and a backup-ish goalie for Zucker. Third and a six. Oh, look at that win. Come on, four more games, baby. Do it. The Nuge was moved for, it looks like, a couple decent prospects. Yeah, especially with the value coming back. Man, one of those has got to be an elite, you'd think. Yes. Latang. oh, he was an 84. So, yeah, Latang would have been good. Hey, he goes back to Pittsburgh. <laughs> Latang back to Pittsburgh. Oh, man, that's hilarious. Wow. Yeah, he was an 84, and he's still an 84. So, hindsight, it would have been great to pick him up, but... Yeah. Oh, wow. Come on, one more, baby. Do it. Do it against Latang. Come on, Crosby, against your old team. Get the job done. Rod Crosby, no thanks. Yay! 50 wins before the deadline. 50, 11, and 1. Yes, we did it, baby. What, 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 we had a streak right there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 game winning streak. Wow. 50, 11, and 1 at the deadline. That is filthy. Absolutely filthy. What a team. 70 points for, for Morozov. 100, 100 points before. Well, yeah, that's just insane. 101 points, man. We are... The next closest team is 19 points behind us. That's insane. That's actually insane. Well, we're looking pretty good here. Oh my goodness. 4.15 goals for per game. 2.58 goals against. Well, we have completely shattered what I wanted, which was a one goal differential between these two. And goodness gracious, that's insane. Power play, 30% still. Penalty kill, 83%. We actually have a good penalty kill. I got to remember these lines. Seven shorties, four. 26, 4, and 1 on hole. Oh my goodness. 8 and 7. Or, sorry, 24 and 7. What? 8 and 7. 24 and 7 on the road. 10 and 0 in the last 10. Goodness gracious. What was our record when I was like, this could improve? Was it like 7 and 5? We've only, only lost twice on the road since I was talking about that. I don't even know if we've lost on home ice. Maybe a couple times. Goodness gracious. What a. Wow. After that trade, just an absolute tear. That this team has been on. Note to self. Don't care about righty lefty as much in the future. <laughs> Goodness. Alright. 70 points for Morozov. 34 goals. 36 assists. I like it. I love Morozov, man. 
Speaking of which, when's his contract up? Yeah, Nick, I'm going to have to. Oh, man. He's going to have a, what, stat growth year, and then he's going to ask for a freaking King's Ransom. Damn it. <laughs> I couldn't get him at the beginning and then have him go on a crazy year. All right, so 66 points for Barkov, 28 goals, 38 assists. Domi, 66 points. Above point per game on that second line is huge. 21 goals, 45 assists. Kote Kinemi, above point per game, 66 points. 12 goals, 54 assists. And Ulet, oh my god, Ulet came alive. Wow. He was, he was kind of slow at the beginning, but look at him now. 59 points in 62 games played. 16 goals, 43 assists. Let's see what he's doing power forward-wise. 95 hits. Could be a bit more, but still. Uh, 14 block shots. Eh, his giveaway takeaway is not as good as he thought it would be. Or you would think it would be, I should say. His aggressiveness is a bit lower, but he, he's not... Yeah, he takes some penalties. Squires, 51 points, 26 goals, 25 assists. Still looking good. So there's your top six right there. And Culp with 45 points, 20 goal a year for Culp. 44 points for Crosby, 36 for Lambert. He's on pace for 40 at least. Crosby, Culp could get 50. I did move Crosby back to the fourth line, but he's got that power play, so that's what's kind of helping him going. 24 for Lundell, but everyone's a plus now, and that's the big that's the big thing. Everyone's a plus, and I think it's because our pairings are just so much better. Clark's got 61 points, man. 61 points for Clark. He is having himself a year. Look at Sanheim and Lambos' plus minus now. Wow. I don't remember what Sanheim was when he came here. Well, I could check. What was he when he came here? So he's gained, he was plus, he was plus 12 in 25 games. He get in, no, he played 34 games for us. He was plus 14. So he was technically doing better in Carolina, but he's on the top four here, you know. Anyway, oh my gosh. <laughs> Lambos plus 32, Juleson plus 20, Niemann plus 23, plus 18 for Mete. Carrick's a plus in the games he's played. Honka was an even in the games he played, man. What else do you want out of a guy who's 73 overall? <laughs> Look at Ortio. Those are some stats, baby. Ortio. Yes. Yes. Do I finally have an elite goalie who sims like an elite goalie? Heward dropped down a bit. He's not doing as good as he was. He doesn't have the points I want out of him either. But all right, we'll give him. We'll still give him some chances here. And bear in mind, we have Orchio to a really good deal for the next couple of years. <laughs> there we go. Here we are at the deadline. I don't even know what do we need to do. I don't think we need to add anything. I don't want to touch anything. I will look at uh, some possible extensions here, but I think we almost have everything taken care of. Let's just check how we got Orchio for one, two more years at 1.425. <laughs> Unreal, baby. We've done it. I think I'll keep Hewitt around. Let's see what he wants. Oh, wow. Yes. Accept that immediately. Yeah, that's an incredible, incredible contract. So our, we're spending about $2 million total on our two goaltenders for the next couple of years. <laughs> Okay, Crosby wants another extension. I don't know if I'll give... Oh, I'm so tempted to give it to him. Eventually, we should hand off the reins on that fourth line. Maybe to Carl, Forsbacher Carlson or something. He is still listed as depth. Who else is going to come in on that fourth line? We'll see how Crosby declines, but he hasn't really declined yet. Further, I should say. He's loving it here. What do we got center-wise in the system? Ekanen, Udon, these guys aren't really bottom six guys. Cam isn't either. He's not really... Eh, he could be. He's a playmaker. Doesn't have the greatest of face-offs. I can maybe try to switch him to a two-way guy, see how he works. Amonti, another playmaker. McNeil, another playmaker. God, oh, just all playmakers down the middle here. Belfour, there's a two-way forward, but uh, he's not... I don't know. He could get up there, but he's not anywhere close. Cam might be... We can maybe try him out. Anyway. What the hell do we need to do here? I can't think of anything. Everyone that we really want is... Sanheim doesn't want an extension. We're probably not giving it to him anyway, so that... 
Don't pay no mind to that. Okay, yeah, I want to lock in Kalinan. He's great. He's he's really good. Ooh, I can give him some extra years here. Eh, three years is enough. You don't really want to go too far over with fourth liners. We'll do three years, and that's a really good price. What the heck? 1.625 for three years, man. Wow, 1.4. Yeah, oh, that's a fourth line contract. Even for now, in real life. Imagine in this year, he's taking, he's taking a very team-friendly deal as cleaning. Elanin's more of a question mark, though. He's doing pretty good, but he's not a guy I would go as long-term. So he's more of a question mark. I'm holding off on him. But definitely want Kalinin. Carrick wants... I think I might keep Carrick around for another year's depth. He's great. He might decline a bit. So yeah, maybe hold off. Maybe hold off and see if his potential changes. Don't need to grab him. All right, that's what we'll do in the way of extensions. Other than that, we are golden, pony boy. 50, 11, and 1. I don't think we should make any moves at the deadline, but let me know what you guys think about the trade I made and the results that stemmed for it. AKA, give me compliments. Give me compliments. <laughs> oh, if you haven't seen that video, please go see it. All right. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to leave that like, and I'll see you guys in the next one.